tenuous but culturally relevant. Maggie's Kool-Aid. Politics is dead, the world ain't what it used to be. Whenever I look at the news, I wonder if this ship is sailing in the wrong direction. My vote has never counted, I've always been in the minority. Sometimes I think, damn it all, I ain't gonna work on Maggie's farm no more. I don't eat her meat or wear her leather. I ain't gonna drink Maggie's Kool-Aid. And I ain't gonna rail against the government, man. I'm trying not to let it rail against me. And sure, I know it seems hopeless. That's what those jokers will do to you. Don't let them win. If you don't vote them in, then they can't do a thing. And there's something so sweet when we take to the streets for the right to free speech and liberty. The pigs at the top might not listen, but we can rock on their trough from the bottom. Stop the world because I want to get off. Lies. You, yes, you over there, you're being lied to. The taxman lies, the government lies, the landlord lies, Her Majesty's prison service lies, your boss lies, your mother lies. Hey, you probably lie too, I know I do. Equality is a lie, faith is a lie, youth is a lie, compassion is a lie. Your birth certificate lies, your national insurance number lies, the electoral roll lies. Don't get me started on those letters from TV licensing. Your broadband provider lies. So does the mechanic at the garage where your car gets its MOT. Random House lies. Wiley lies. Quirk lies. Booktrope Publishing lies dead in an unmarked grave. Eyes lie. They lie all the time like a lighthouse. I think I need a long lie down. One side of a phone call. Slow down, slow down. What's the problem? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really? Very interesting. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Okay, well, how about giving it a kick? Ouch. Well, the hospital can fix you up in no time. Uh-huh. Hey, hold on a sec. Let me Google that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have a problem. Looks like your hard drive's fried. Has your machine been through any trauma? What's that? Oh, you're a writer. Well, why didn't you say? You probably hurt its feelings. Maybe you were hacked by the FBI or some foreign government. Uh, uh huh. No, I'm afraid large-scale acts of industrial espionage aren't covered by your warranty. Uh huh. No, sorry about that. Is there anything else I can help you with? L O V E. L O V E. Something sweet but never innocent, like two bags of flour, four eggs, and a little bit of butter. I think we have a problem. The L is for lots of people lighting fires in the hearts of the people they meet, so let's not forget that. The O is for, oh my goodness, look at the legs on that one, and other bad chat up lines like, oh I forgot, what time do they open? The V is for veal, a romantic meal with a baby cow skin on the table, and E, E is easy, E is for eating and eating and eating, finding a way to the heart through the stomach. Personally, I'd rather drill a hole through the ribcage. Fonts. Comic Sans tried to hang itself from the beams of an empty outhouse. Wingdings wins things from within, but it has no friends because no one understands it. Ariel is bold. I feel the need to underline that. Calibri is easy, but it aligns to the right like a Nazi sympathizer. Museo Sans Serif shot the sheriff and Helvetica shot the deputy. Courier knew, courier knew, and courier knew, courier knew, needed a new courier. Bamf! Palatino liner type type lines I like for the books I laid in layout and impact made an impact and then it packed it in gladly all italicized. Bebas Kai is like a lighthouse. So am I with a little light in my eye. Where were all the poems? Poetry is great and all but I'm well aware that a single ray of sunshine can shine its light through a bead of dew on the end of a blade of grass. Where were all the poems about the ache in your stomach when you plan to tell your boss you no longer want to work there? Where are all the poems for the people who quit their jobs to form their own path? The poems for the people who go from full-time to part-time to freelance, eking a living from the work they can get from their reputation. Where are all the poems about smoking roll-up- Hi Wickham everybody. Where are all the poems about smoking roll-up cigarettes, steadying legs by sitting on the cold, wet walls? The poems about possibly having a heart attack because the next six minutes could shape your life for the years to come. The poems about the grim determination when you grit your teeth and pull the plaster off. Where are all the poems by the working class kids who left their lives behind and sometimes regret it? Who miss drinking Frosty Jacks and stashing vodka behind the graves outside St. Editha's? There are plenty of poems about insomnia, but where are all the poems that tackle the underlying issues? Well, here's at least one of them, although it might not be any good. 
Don't blame me. The pressure's enormous. I might be shooting myself in the foot. The sun came out. The sun came out all magic and fabulous, and yet the clouds frowned down and tried not to make a rainbow. But the sun still shone like the hook of a song because the sun could only be what the sun is. It couldn't burn out if it wanted to. But the clouds weren't gay, they were old, cold and grey, so they tried their very best to stop the sunshine. The moon, meanwhile, was a problem child. It smoked too much dope and now it's too afraid to turn its back on us. The clouds don't like the moon either. Their holy book preaches tolerance, but only to the people who also read their holy book. But the sun still shone like a loaded gun. It shot through the sky to light your eyes up. And in a final case of irony, the sun's LGBT light was refracted by the rain. And now there's a double rainbow. Reading in Reading. Check this out and forget it. Check ignition, our engines are ready and raring to go. Stuck in traffic encircling the city, one half marathon and nowhere to go. I wasn't expecting rockets. Blast back off beneath green seas in a yellow submarine where everything seems clean and easy. Full steam ahead in the back of the purple turtle. This isn't half a marathon, it's a full quick sprint with a drink at the end. Something to think and live like an instinct, people to meet and sing with. It's time to tell yourself a story. It begins with the who and the what, the how and the why and the where and the hell did the last five years go. Eight-year-old Anna's in an art class drawing fish and things with older kids listening in and looking on in judgement. If nothing else, it's a lesson in adversity. Real life has dangling modifiers. It has plot holes and bad dialogue, unsuspended disbelief, slow pacing and spelling mistakes, and there's no such thing as the eight-point story arc. Stories bring people together. They fly off the page into the brain. They make us the same but somehow different. Every story is another life you live through. You've still got time to change the ending. Auto suggest. I don't want you back in my room, but you can have a little more and then I'll try and get it done. But it's okay to go back home, safe to get a job at a new ticket home, safe to get a new one to get the bus to go to bed early. And I'm not going back home. Lol, I'm so happy for my birthday. I love it. Just one thing about the game and then I came my way home from work to my room to watch a new one. People are so cute. I love them all. What I'm doing is you will have a little something on my mind. My mama has called me back. Get well done and get it done. I'm just going back home for the first week and then I'll try and it will get you done with it this time. Stop trying so I can just stay home and go to sleep. Forget the pub and the train is going on to go home for a while. Why is the only thing I want for my mother and my sister for the next book blog? Strange how I feel about the time of day when I'm not in my life but it's okay to go back home safe and happy. Great to have the time for a ticket to a freelance client and a freelance writer and I can do a lot more on the blog than Facebook. Get a Facebook page on the Facebook app for the Facebook page. Facebook, Facebook page on the Facebook app and the app do not has the Facebook page. Okay, that's okay. I just want you some cool people. Anyway, I just want you some more time and stuff like that. Piss or beer. Sometimes you walk down the street at 8.45am on a Monday morning, half awake and still dreaming, and as you overtake two old women trundling along with tartan trolleys, you spot something in the doorway of the slug and lettuce. It's a pint glass full of gold, either the last drink from the night before or the urine of a dehydrated vagabond, and you think to yourself, man, it's 8.45am on a Monday morning, but I could use a drink right now. Now, I don't have much to lose, and sometimes I get a little desperate, but I haven't yet been tempted to try it. Biggie. Biggie, you are beautiful and I know you're scared, but we all are. You're a big black cat and you purr when you rap relaxed at the back of the books in a cat nap. And I know you kind of like me because you came when I called and nuzzled my knuckles. Then you hid yourself away when I went for a cigarette. Perhaps you don't like cars because you were shot in the back of a Chevy Suburban. Or maybe it's my girlfriend and her driving. It's funny because your voice is like an engine, especially when you settle down to sleep the stress off, which is also like me when I fall asleep and start snoring. Biggie, I will protect you. I already prefer you to other humans. Probably not drinking. Because the long weekend and bank holiday Monday mean it's finally time for writing. I got bored of the booze blues and buying beer to take the edge off. I have thousands of pounds in my bank account and the council still owes me a tax refund. I'm going to spend the money on a Fender Electroacoustic with a hard shell case so when I go to open mic nights, Dave can take his keyboard and I can take my guitar, although I'll probably still end up playing bass. Now we just need a drummer. Still, I'm probably not drinking and I might even finish my novel, although I'm not making any promises. I'm probably not drinking but I probably might and I might not probably sleep sometime. 
There's so much to do and no time to do it in. Money Troubles I was always a money-grubbing struggler, a man with no muscle who's driven to hustle, shut up and small writing songs in the master bedroom. Who needs money? Only the landlord, the utility companies and the government. I wish I could go off grid using solar panels to harness the sunlight, underground pumps leaching heat from the earth to boil my boilers, and bank accounts are perishable commodities like the human body with its built-in expiration date. And the worst part is you fade away slowly into obscurity, like when your liver gives up and then your lungs, your heartbeat slows and you sink into a coma, and everyone you've ever met feels the same twinge of sadness when they pull the plug on you. That's when you realise you missed every shot you didn't take, and your money worries should never worry you as much as they worry you. I'd rather be poor and happy. Love is a burnt out candle. Love is a burnt out candle at four o'clock in the morning. When the aeroplanes fall from the sky and the buses break down and the trains roll off the rails and the cars drive at 90 on the motorway. And the angels tell little kids their future and the devils get drunk at open mic nights. And the pianos go out of tune when you play the first note of a lonely sonata. And the snakes crawl on their bellies through broken glass while the rats get their tails in a tangle. And the boats come home and smash themselves upon the rocks and the sailors fill up their caps with salt water. And the people walk down boulevards with melting ice cream in their hands. And the smokers burn their lungs on tobacco plants as the air turns cold and starts to laugh at them. And the birds break their wings on the barriers of the park and ride while number plates are snapped in half and discarded. And the poets drink themselves into oblivion as they throw their pens into the harbour. And the stomachs twist and wrap around themselves and the legs collapse and fold away. And love is a stick of incense. And life is a dream we keep living.